Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Ravita. We are gonna go to... I don't know. What, what do we got here? There's lowered HP. Yeah, sure. Multiple enemy waves. Not that big of a deal. Enemy speed up. This is a little bit more of a potential concern. Tricky tactics, more of a potential concern for sure. I like tricky tactics though. I think it's good. Is uh, is there still multiple tricky tactics? There is. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and put ourselves on five because I want to get whatever this meta progress unlocked relating to curses is. Because I've been told, and I don't know, I don't know how hard it is to find or get, but if it, you know, if it's going to truly completely change curses for the better, I need to get it out of the way with as much... Okay, wait, look at this. We actually have a curse choice. Uh, you can't focus while in a normal combat room. Sure. Uh, that's, that's fine. Ish. Well, in a normal combat room. I... So I guess that means we can focus on shrines. We can focus on shops. Theoretically, that would imply secret rooms are uh, are able to be focused on as well. Speaking of, I'd like... You know, I would enjoy going over there to, to try and figure out if there is one here. But it's kind of an awkward... Whoa, what the hell? I didn't even know there was a ledge grab kind of an awkward little uh yeah awkward little place to check there but we did it we got it we got it we're golden we're good uh but a big thing that's worth noting is i've been informed there is only 30 shards now there's not 40 shards anymore which first of all thank god okay so also i'm noticing that enemy speed up on these guys is very very noticeable uh yeah that's a much better amount much better amount of shards it darn, darn near, maybe, maybe still too much. I mean, maybe. But 30 is, uh, is much better. Yeah, much more appealing than 40. I think we could maybe, we could maybe do it. Also, apparently, in general, they've gotten a bit easier. They've gotten a bit easier. I think that this decision was made <laughs> probably after the stream where Ben probably, or when, where Ben was doing the, uh, the shard 40 live. Hey, oh my god. And it was uh, brutal. Very, very brutal. <laughs> I think the decision probably came after that. Because to an extent, you know, all these things with difficulty, it's it's such a tricky thing. People want to have difficulty that's, like, unmanageable because, like, you want to appeal to everyone. But there, there's going to be, like, the large section of people playing games will often, like, feel as though they're supposed to keep climbing difficulty. Uh, wait a minute. Two current for two max. Is that... That is true. It, it, this is very spicy, and I hope we do not run into any cursed enemies, because then we'll die in two hits here, but... All in all, that, like... If nothing else, that gives us a lot of ability to... Um... Ooh. Oh, this is... This is not great. With the, with the speed up there... Oh, and the cursed enemy there... I've always said, I've got on the record, I, I stand by it, that the, uh... The worms on the first zone are some of the weird, like, surprisingly, most surprisingly difficult enemies. Not that they're really, not that they're that bad, but it's just that you wouldn't think that they would provide such a substantial amount of, uh, of difficulty being such a basic, basic enemy. We've got to get that cursed one out of the way. So the cursed ones do drop double the souls, right? They do. They sure as heck do. I pretty sure I heard a secret room over there. Okay, good. Got it. Oh, we got a second wave. Oh, what a rough enemy. Oh my god, if he would have gotten a bullet out, I think I could have uh, could have gotten blasted there. It's pretty important we do not take our hit here. Oh my god, I didn't think he was going to get over. Hello there, my pal. Perfect timing too because otherwise we'll we would start to waste our uh, our focus. Let's just let's do this now because we won't be able to do it in another room. 
I don't know if we're gonna be going to the B floor or not. I'm not sure. What what's the benefit of the B floor? It's that uh, we don't have to pay for our shrine, I guess. Which is exciting. But also, I was gonna say we could we can't skip it for the for the. For the curse. Oh my god, this is happening a lot more often than it used to. I don't know if that's just like I'm getting unlucky slash lucky. Like, you get more souls for what it's worth. Uh, fine. The chests on the first floor are half a heart, so no big deal there. What is this? Wax wings. Ability to fly, but you lose them on getting hit. Are they cool? Big time, yes. Am I going to lose them because I'm not used to this control scheme as much? Yeah. But we're going to have them for a while, probably. Or we're going to lose them immediately. One of the two. No in-between. Like, they are making this room a lot easier. Like, if we stay above the ground... It is impossible for us to take damage. But there's going to be rooms that have flying enemies. I, I don't suspect we keep these for long. Uh, boss fights. Boss fight. I probably, like... It might make me get hit. And I, I'm not saying because it's bad, but because, like... If you're just not used to a certain control scheme, and then you, like, go fight a boss or something, like, we're probably going to get hit. But, you know, it may just me be me sandbagging, but... It, it is great in concept, but like it's for me right now, we're going to have to see it in action. Maybe like what if you could upgrade it? Maybe I don't know. Maybe this is the case. If you could upgrade it for like maybe one upgrade, it doesn't doesn't do anything. Two upgrades. If you upgrade it twice, then you get. Uh, ooh. I keep buying this because it keeps showing up and I keep liking it. Um, what am I saying? I'm trying to say something. If you upgraded it twice and it it no longer broke on hit, that'd be really cool. Because one, you would have to keep it long enough and then you'd have to sacrifice a lot. And it's a rare, so it'd be like, what? Two and a half heart containers for that? That'd be, I think that'd be kind of neat. That'd be kind of neat. Maybe it is that way already. But yeah, we're, we're going to have to figure out how to... How to do this right. Dodging this attack is easier. Huh. Uh, it's, it's weird. It's weird because we can dodge in the air. We have to keep that in mind. But it's it's hard to, hard to get used to. It's very cool. And I love that it exists in the game. Anything I'm saying it has nothing to do with saying that... Do we move slower? No. Has nothing to do with it being a bad a bad item design wise, but I'm trying to parse what I think about it because it, it, this is very it's a very game changing item. Flight in in this game I'm noticing is a, well, great for a lot of attack patterns right now. I'm noticing that it's in some games it's not as important. Like I don't know like exit the exit the gungeon had a flight upgrade, and in that game it wasn't as exciting. I'm noticing it have definitely more power here. And, like, look at that. Oh, this is... It's now a weird attack, but a cool attack, nonetheless. Okay. Huh. I, I would definitely emphasize get, uh, getting upgraded movement speed. If I could find that, I think that'd be a big get. Good stuff. Are we going to bee land? Let's alternate. Let's let's alternate. We'll go no bee land, bee land, no bee land. That's what we'll do. We'll try to do that. Beep, 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 beep. 
All right, we'll see if we can upgrade these or not. I would I would do it in a heartbeat with how many heart containers we have if we can make them permanent, because I would love to try that out. Yeah, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. Can't upgrade that. You know? I've been loving I've been loving that. I know that uh so apparently we got we got a uh, a reply from Ben saying that it does so okay, so yeah, you get a slight boost to the amount of items that drop. You get a slight boost, but it is still taking the place of other drops such as damage ups and everything. Oh, okay. So, in that situation... Oops. Oh, hello. In that situation, I... The fact that it, it is a... It isn't just just skewing the drops into shields, but we are getting a little bit more. It does make it... I, I was... I had the fear that maybe it wasn't actually as good as I, I thought it might be. And it's not... From what I gather, yeah, it's... It's not as good as I is it looks on immediate first pass, but it is still since shields are pretty important. Less so now. Because I guess curse yeah, curse shots break shields. Maybe it is. Hey, Macarena. So maybe maybe this item is bad now. Actually, without shields are not even like they don't block the two shots. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is I should probably... Well, first of all, hell yeah there. Uh, up to 20%. Don't mind if I do. Doubled our damage upgrades. I don't know. Should should I prioritize this item as much in the current update now? No, probably not. If, the, if shields weren't nerfed, I would say, yeah, this is pretty filthy busted. Can we? I just want to make sure we shot at the wall there. I don't think the summons can drop nothing. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. We have a secret room, so, or we sorry, we have a a locked room, so we shouldn't have a secret room. Okay, we take those. Especially, really good timing, because I was about to say, should I sacrifice this for what might be a spear? How does this work? Ooh! That's a fun combination. I like that. That's actually kind of neat. In a weird way. How relevant is this? I'm gonna do it because we get a relic rarity up. And with the flight, I bet you we can do some really weird cheese that is not gonna be incredibly... Oh, no, 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 no. I tapped out. Oh, my God. It's not going to be incredibly... Uh, so something we can see very often. Got to be careful. The worms can shoot up in the air. We don't want to kill them when we are anywhere near above them. See, like, we can we can do this right here. We can also do that. That is that is really fun. If we pierced enemies, this would be a different story. This would be big busted then. Boop. All right. Let's go. Large room. Okay. Oh, they have a they have a max distance there. Good. Good stuff. Oh, I love that. I love that weird interaction. So, so solid. Oh. I, I hate this, though. I feel like I'm too slow to get in there fast enough. 
in any meaningful way. Yes, I know I can dodge, but I'm just still I'm still trying to get my uh, my air legs. This feels very strange to to air dodge like that. Wait, was there a secret room? Oh. All right. You know. Whatever. What do you got? Fire rate and accuracy, but decreases your damage. It's still a net damage up, right? And the accuracy is a nice added bonus, I guess. It, it it's a da yes, it's a damage down, but a DPS up in theory. It's a DPS up. And it should make it so all damage ups that we get in the future are much better. It also should make it pretty. Yeah, I can't. Actually, yeah, I kind of, kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. This is one of those items where you look at it and on paper your gut reaction is probably like, "Don't take it. It make damage down. Go down. It make damage go down." And it's like, yeah. But also, it doesn't. It's feeling, yeah, it's feeling nice. In in action here, I'm liking it. I could see this being bad. Oh, boy. I can definitely see this going bad. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it up, back it up, back it up. We used our keys. Shame. We don't really have that much, um, focus, what, soul, anyways. Hello, I was wondering where you were going to be. Hopefully it's a ground-based enemy. That's oh, a summoner. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Oh, that's very annoying. Huh. Huh. Kill, 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 kill. Jammed one especially. Nice. Got item! What? A Enemies won't target you until you attack. I mean, sure, I guess. Interesting. So we can, like, fly into a good position. I mean, I'm going to attack, right, like, right away every time anyways. Because I'm just dumb like that, but... So they still attack, they just don't tar- Oh god, that's... Only kind of helpful. <laughs> uh, oh wait, oh, I need to do a little bit of a search. So yeah, we can't heal, but the good news is we're going into a boss room. And I would think that this applies as not a normal room. Like, yeah, I was going to say, the, the phrasing on it, like, almost makes me think, I'm actually not going to heal, because I'm probably going to sacrifice health. I actually suspect this boss, <gasps> oh, a hiccup, this boss could do a kill, could do a kill upon me, because of how much, um, oh, God, how much there is that's just from the sky. God dang it! No! No! Yeah, like, he could ax This poison, man. I'm so glad that, yeah, you don't, um... You don't get poisoned immediately, otherwise it'd be... Unpossible. Unpossible. Oh my god. Weird situation where we can actually get sniped out of the air. Huh? This is this is uh, uncomfortable. Okay, so he's gonna do the air thing, but only for a second. Okay, that worked out pretty well. That worked out pretty well. Uh, so they just permafall from the ceiling now. 
forgot about that. Oh, this is super weird. Oh, don't snipe me out of the air. Oh, that platform in the middle. I, ju I just realized that that platform in the middle isn't normally there, too. Oh, this is hell. Oh my god, that was actual hell. That 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 fight was harder with wings. I'm gonna be real. But everything else has be has been easier. Free upgrade. Everything else has been easier. So if boss fights are the only place where there's the issues and we are we perfect the boss fights anyways, then like it's good. I, I actually I think that um, the final boss would probably be easier with wings, though. The laser attack would be not that hard to dodge, since being able to hover in the, like, upper middle would provide a lot. Like, obviously, the uh, the wiggle ball attack could be still, like, that could be a problem big time still. Uh, what's the upgrade do? 5% upgrade. It just, it's just kind of a, it's just kind of a more boring upgrade than what it could be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, like, I would rather have like a, I, as silly as it is, I'd rather have like a 2.5 fire rate, 2. Point, or like 2.5 accuracy minus, and then like a slight upgrade to the damage penalty. Like, I'd rather have like a little bit, like, just, yeah, it feels like so many of the upgrades are just... 5% fire rate, which is good. Like, don't get me wrong. It's good. It's also just not very cool or exciting. You know? It's not some. It's not something that's fun. 5% attack speed. It's not something that's fun to trade health for. And, like, that, the other thing, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not... It's, yeah, it's just not a fun... It doesn't feel worth spending your health on on a cosmic scale it's not exciting and i i would wager a lot of new players would see a trade like that and be like no way in hell i can at least like i can obviously respect how good it is in theory but i will attest that it not too fun compared compared to other upgrades in the game i should look for seeker rooms These wait. I wonder if the, this zone has a lot more big rooms, doesn't it? Where we will actually benefit. From, oh God! What? Wait. Oh, that's right. They get invincible. Okay. Break that down. A lot of these shots are just hitting the ceiling. We gotta remember that. Oh, shoot. It does home in on the platform. Yep. Oh my god, we almost got doinked. We almost got doinked. Alright, I do want to get in here and do my heal so we can get our heart slot upgrade. 25%. With as much attack speed upgrades as we have, this, uh, any 5% damage up is going to go even further. It's going to go even further for us. That is so fun, too. I will say, it, I think that it's a, yeah, it's a damage down to our spears, isn't it? Because does it, does it scale off of our bullet damage? Seems like it might. Eh, we already have. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is stupid of me to do, isn't it? Fine. Let's die. Dota, let's go. Am I, wait, am I, am I, Mask of Torment is Dota, right? Am I losing my mind? I, it's been so long. All right, is it not in Dota? What is it? What is that mask? Oh, 
what am I thinking of? Oh, it's the brace. Never mind. It's been so long. I'm thinking of the uh, the, the brace where you you drain your HP to do more damage. It's got a it's got a it's got a similar color palette vibe. Oh, this is bad. But now we're fine. Okay, we got ourselves a chest. All right, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Not even a chest, it's just straight up a shield. So I wonder if the damage upgrade, that probably doesn't do more to shields, right? Uh-oh. Ay, carumba, dude. That was not the way I wanted to dodge. So I'm glad I didn't get beefed. Was there a secret room here? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. All right. All right. But yeah, I want to... I really want to see what the upgraded Mask of Torment is like. Do you like... For, for fun's sake, I bet you... I bet you it is just like... Uh, it probably just gives us a little bit more damage is my presumption, which is good, but like it would be, like, uh, well, we'll see, we'll see I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna presume, cause it could be fun if it was like, you know upgraded to 50% damage but the enemies do even, like even more like that, just that kind of uh, that kind of a mentality approach to it I think could be really fun just like making the upgrades just a little bit, a little bit more uh, uh, unique than the 5% Which it feels like that's the universal thing. Uh, but... Yeah. Of all problems, it's a small problem. It's not even really a problem as much as it is, as it is just like... It feels like an area where... Thing, if Maybe something could, could get made better. It ain't no critique. And I'm always afraid to say anything, <laughs> anything that's not positive. Well, I know Ben is watching. But it's just that I can't, I can't not say it. Because I want to help the game, and I think that I think that would help. I think that'd be it. I think it would just be better, a better thing. Whoop. Whoop. Alrighty, in we go. Ah, it's this. We have a curse. We have not skipped anything. I forgot that we we totally just neglected that. Should we? Yeah. Sure thing. I don't think, yeah, I, I think, what do you need to skip? Do you need to skip every shrine up to that point, or just do you need to have skipped have skipped a shrine and taken a chest? Oh my god, I forgot they were going to charge towards me. Our damage output is off the rails. Good. Give me a key. Give me a key! Oh, you blessed! Blessed... Blessed game. Secret uncovered. Lock. What? First of all, I will uh, I will take damage. Second of all, I'll take a curse. Fine. Oh. What? What does it do, though? Like, what do you mean? Is that 25% our fire rate? If so, is it really a drop of... It's a drop of 10%? Why does the curse drop at 10% but an upgrade only ups at 5? What the dang? Is this good? I don't know if this is good for us right now. I would like to try it, but not. Oh God, run the boss. Oof. There's really no point to heal. So we don't have to deal with the. Oh, this is getting. This is gonna be strange. 
There's no denying. This is gonna this is gonna be kind of a weird uh, bargaining fight. It might be easy. Like. Oh, Mike, what? Yeah, it's like, it's actually, it's one of those things where I, I think on papers, I think it's actually easier, but it is also very, very different. Very different. Like, that attack is, I think, easier to dodge on the ground ever since it's been changed. Uh, I mean, no hits up to the bargaining fight is pretty good. We, we, uh, we, we were, uh, we were killing it for a while. Also, oh, I don't know how much damage we took. I do not know. All right, let's see the mask. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the old mask. All right. We got a handful of upgrades, don't we? Things that we could upgrade. Wisp. Oh. 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 Yeah, I prefer it be like an extra 15%, but enemies do even more damage to you. Like, I don't know, just something a little more, like, a little more spicy. It's like, I guess I'll do it because we don't have this health anyways. Because that was going to net us basically the same. All right. It's... Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Well, this is this strange. This strange. We want more shields. The good news is we got. Wait. Wait. What? What? I mean. This guy, I cringe because he didn't know. Well, hey, I cringe because you know all too well. The only reason I didn't know is because I've been going for 30 minutes and I didn't get hit. That's why I cringe. Oh, my God. Wow. That's so cool. That, okay. So it's each room. Or it's either each room or each zone. Either way, it's better. I'm going to probably get beefed in this zone because, like, that's the thing, but knowing now that, yeah, like, I'll get my wings back again. I just caught that out of the air. Oh, that is so much. That is so much better, I think. I mean, like, you know, your mileage may vary on whether or not the wax wings are better for each room. But that actually is good, because if there is a fight where it is kind of, like, worse to... Oh. To worse, worse to have wax wings, it's kind of a, um, it's a safety state where it can only go so... Ah, shoot. It can only go so wrong. You can only take one hit via because of Wax Wings, you know, if that's the case. That's actually... That makes it almost a better item in a weird way. Like the losing it on hit. I, hey! <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> All right, are we at a shrine? We are at a shrine. Uh, I would obviously happily sacrifice or do a uh, a one heart bopper. What do we got? Chance to electrify enemies, and we get a curse. Okay. Is three curses enough for whatever we need? Shop prices, amazing, amazingly fine. We do not care about that whatsoever. And we also don't need to heal anymore because if we take 1.5 hearts per hit, it's not going to matter if we have three hearts or two hearts. I don't remember what Electrify even does in this game. It's 
been a while. I want to. Uh! I want to use my uh, my spear, but I can't. All righty. This is this has been a fun run. I cannot deny. This is like, like all all runs of this, when I'm not ripping my hair out entirely on like you know. Shard. What used the old shard seventeen? Like, could I handle the current shard seventeen? Maybe. Maybe I just can't bring myself to look for a secret room for some reason. Oh, that's pretty sad. We see something new, but we can't go in because we just don't happen to have a key. So the zap damages enemies around them, I think? I want to see if there's a secret room. Don't kill me. Okay. Cool. Well, okay. So now four, we could take one and a half, one and a half. All right. There is now... Well, we're going to have to find a secret room or a shop or something because I can't, I can't heal in normal rooms. So I was going to say we can get ourselves to another heart marker, but... Oh, well, we're going to need a shield. All right. Key. We're going to need a key. Yeah, wax wings are actually slappers. I don't remember what you do, but I want you dead before it matters. Oh, my God. Okay, well... You're not wrong. That is a key. Yeah, we're not going to make it to another heart marker then. So, well, uh, I mean, shop prices are up. I kind of want a key just so we can go in. Oh. Oh. He's zapping his friends. We should have left him alive. Still processing cleanest way to handle these guys. My ghost is not hitting them. Oh, it's because he's hitting this thing. It's like a parasite type enemy. Is that why we unlock the parasite? I'd want to go in just to, yeah, just to heal, but I guess... Would I, like, I don't know. Would I even heal in a boss fight? Would I even care? Well, yeah, we would, because it would, it would give us... One heal would give us one extra hit. Healing twice would be irrelevant in the boss. But healing once would not be. What do you got there? Oh, yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Chill. Does that give you a, enough for a half? Because I guess I should have healed... For, well, I don't know if I should have healed first, because I don't know if that gives me half. What I should have done was heal once, open the chest, and then if we got a full bar, then heal twice. But this is fine. If, if we find time to heal in a boss fight, cool. I don't know what's going to happen. I think that there's some aspects of this boss that would be easier with the wax wings. But I don't know if we're going to live long enough to get there. with the or, or live long enough with wax wings without getting hit to get there. Cool. Love the jump. Love the jump. Okay, I can't even get to him. Stupid attack, don't you dare. It's just it's brutal. There we go. It's the fact that he does the jump after it often is what's really nasty. Jumping over him frequently seems to be oh god that I 
I, I mean, like, not much I could have done there, but we're gonna, we're gonna beat him. All right. Whew. Wash my hands of this. Depression, obliterating, and all I see. Did we really get hit that many times where we would be missing that many shields? Or were we taking extra damage because of mask? End of the line. For now. All right. The mind of a dupe. Lost once more. If you say so. So there's three curses. I'm thinking that's not enough for whatever unlock. Otherwise, the unlock had something to do with that um, that locked room that we just coincidentally didn't happen to have a key for. We'll, we'll see. We'll go up. We'll go up and see if there's any, like, special unlocks. We're obviously going to unlock the ticket system unless there's... Unless I see something that has to do with curses... Okay. Somber Spalker is the heart of the cultized power. Each time you enter and defeat him, you threaten their hold on others. Look, child, another flower. Aren't they lovely? And for you, a gift. A blueprint. Okay. Crossroad rooms which have multiple side exits. That's kind of big. Like, I want the tickets, but that changes things. That's pretty noticeable, but... Let's get tickets this run, and then we'll get Crossroads probably next time. Like, obviously, I want the Chaos ticket, too. But... I don't know if we can use this Chaos ticket without the ticket system. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know if we need to have the tickets to get to use the chaos tickets i don't know so we can f we we can find tickets now but we don't we don't have the we don't have tickets we can find tickets now i guess so that's something we'll just have to see in the next run we obviously have some coins left i i would like to get an item and everything but there's just there's pretty, it seems like there's pretty major mechanics that are left for us to get. So we are going to just say smile uh, and wait. All right. That is that. Going to get over. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Okay. All right. Well, that is going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And remember to hit the like button and comment down below. Long form series on this platform are kind of dying out. So, hey, if you want to fight that, make sure you do a little bit of a support with a like and a comment. Genuinely. Hear me say this. Go down, do it. If you like that format, you want it to stick around, you want Ravita to stick around on my channel, make sure you go out of your way to help out with that. Thank you, thank you. If you want, you can pick up the game with the link at the top of the description and help support both the game and me at the same time on my nexus.gg store it is straight up just a steam link or steam key nothing fishy thank you for watching thank you thank you see you next time bye